Hi, this is Pastor Bob, and welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. My friend Christian on Facebook says, What about the verse in Thessalonians that talks about abstaining from all appearances of evil? You know, a lot of people use that verse for people who look like me. People who may look like you if you have tattoos and piercings and if you listen to the wrong kind of music and whatever. And, uh, you know, I always think it's an interesting verse because they're presupposing that the church has the appearance of good and those people who are any different have the appearance of evil. Interesting, isn't it? There's probably no one uh, in the United States right now that is that has been more greedy and has caused more problems than those people who are basically behind our financial difficulties, the big corporations, the guys with short hair and three-piece suits. And here we go. You know, folks, first of all, the church doesn't have an appearance. It really doesn't. But you say, well, you know, the Bible tells us to dress modestly. Yeah, to dress non-sexually. That still leaves a whole lot of room for interpretation. <clears throat> So what does a church look like? And when you're telling people not to look like the world, you're presupposing that the church has a look. The church doesn't have a look. And if the church does have a look, probably should adopt the look from the first century church where it all started, which would be long robes and sandals and long hair. There we go. And if your church doesn't look like that, then they probably don't have an appearance that has anything to do with the modern day or the uh, the first church or even the church a hundred years ago. Things change. And we decide what is acceptable to us, and we say that everybody else outside of our group is looking like the world. Well, folks, people have all kinds of expressions, all kinds of ways of dressing, all kinds of ways of expressing themselves. It doesn't mean that one is right, another is wrong. They're simply different. You know, I like rock and roll, heavy metal music. I like dressing in black. I like long hair. Uh, I like piercings. I like tattoos. <laughs> and I love the Lord. And you know, that's what we all have in common. I live in Nashville where there's a lot of country people and they dress with cowboy hats and cowboy boots and they dress very country and very western. I don't like country western music. And I could say, gee, that offends me and they're not dressed properly and, you know, that uh, that isn't according to what I think should be normal. And here we go. You see the point I'm getting at, folks? We really need to give each other space. Space to express ourselves, space to be who we are, and some space to love the Lord the way we feel like we can, with our tastes, with our talents, with everything that we have. And when you begin by presupposing that the church has a specific look, you start with the wrong premise, and you begin to basically be prejudiced against everybody else food for thought. God bless you. Have a great day.